what is good everybody it's your boy Taj and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a beat for Lil Baby and Future it's gonna be that dark ambient vibe something that like Southside ATL Jacob or maybe even Quay Global might make I made the beat from scratch so I'll be breaking down all the different melodies and the loop and I'll be showing y'all the drums that I added towards the end of the video as always I'll have the full beat played at the end of the video so be sure to stick around for that and with all that out of the way let's just hop right into the beat Before I start breaking down the melodies, uh, I'm going to play a little preview real quick. All right, so for the first thing for these melodies is the tempo. I chose 164, the vibe I was going for was like between 140 and 170, anything in there really works. A lot of stuff I've been doing recently kind of fits in that. Hopping into our first melody sound, I got this sub bass. And I just penciled in this bass pattern in A minor. For that first sound, I didn't put any effects on it. I just left it as is. For my second melody sound, I got this Glock and Dream preset from Omnisphere. And I went into the piano roll and I put in this pattern right here. So all it was is I was just using the A minor scale once again to just construct a melody. The first thing I did was construct this right here. And all it was was just using the root note and just kind of adding upon that and changing stuff up every now and then. After that, I went in and I added all these high notes here these are just meant to accent some of the melody notes that are in the lower pattern with our original sub bass it sounds something like this So throwing that into a mixer track, the first effect I put on it was RC20, and the only thing I left on it were the distortion, wobble, and magnetic, and I adjusted the wobble a little bit. I think I just turned it up a tad. For the second effect, I put on this EQ. I just put a high pass to cut out some of the percussive sounds, and I just put in a cut right here just to cut out a little more of like that harsher sound to it. Then I added wider. This is a free plugin, and all it does is it just widens the stereo image of your sound, so I put it to 109%. Moving on to the third melody, sound I got this Adagio Expressivo preset from Omnisphere once again and it's just a strings plug-in and I put in this kind of higher pitch strings pattern So throwing that into the mixer track, all it is, I added some vinyl one to it and the only effects I kept were wobble, magnetic, and I put some space on it and turned the knob up to about like 35%. And then lastly, I got this breathing glass flutes preset and I kind of added this pad pattern and just kind of breaking it down real quick. All it is, I constructed this top part right here and moved it an octave down. So I just started with adding an A minor chord using A, C, and E or the one, three, and five in the A minor scale. Then I just copied it over to here and moved the five up to the six in the scale, so E to F. For the second half of the pattern, once again, I start with an A minor, except I move the C down to a B, so the three down to the two in the scale, making it an A suspended two chord. And then I have the A minor with the five moved up one and then just back down to E to finish out the pattern. And then all I did is I just copied it down an octave and randomized the velocities using Alt R and this little velocity knob right here. And for effects on that last melody, I once again used some RC20. I put it on the Vinyl 3 preset and I put on just the wobble space magnetic. Again, put on wider and put it up to 95%. After that, I rendered all the melodies out and I stemmed out the loop. After I had my loop rendered out, I opened it into a new project file. I turned the pitch down 300 cents from the rendered out version of the loop, which makes this new key F minor. And once I had it all arranged, I started working on the drum. First thing I added was this clap snare combo. Next, I added this hi-hat, and I added this pattern right here, and I used this technique that Pyrex and Southside like to use for making the hi-hats. So what you do is you go up to this little green magnet right here, 
and you wanna put the magnet setting to one third step. And so you wanna start off with a two step pattern and you wanna use this paintbrush tool up here. And using this paintbrush, it's really easy to go in and paint in your rolls. With a normal pencil tool, you have to click every time to add in a new note. With the paintbrush, you just click and drag and it makes adding rolls a heck of a lot easier. And say you already have a roll right here, just shift click and move your cursor around and it'll change the pitch of your notes. So using that method, I just went in and I added a whole bunch of notes using the one third step snap setting with the exception of a couple rolls being these two highlighted right here. For these ones, I used the one six step snap setting just to create that reverse hi-hat type of feel. So with all that being said, this is what our hi-hat pattern sounds like. After that, I got this triangle open at sound. And then I added this shorter open hat sound. And I kind of adjusted the velocities just to give the open hats a little more variation. And then next, I added the snare pattern. At its core, it's pretty simple. So these highlighted notes are the first things that I added. These highlighted notes are the first things that I added. So I just added a few notes here and duplicated it over. And then after that, I added some rolls. So using the one half step snap setting and the paintbrush tool, I added these rolls that are highlighted right here. And then the remaining roll, I used the one third beat setting. And again, the paintbrush tool just to put in that little roll right there. Next, I added my 808 pattern in. All it is is just a spins 808 with the velocity turned all the way up. And I added this pattern right here and a little different than my normal 808 patterns, but it, it loosely follows a similar concept of what I usually do. And then lastly, I just added this kick to add some more punch to my 808. So that's all I got. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you're able to take something away from it. If you have any feedback or recommendations, leave them in the comments below. Hit the like if you liked the video. Hit the sub if you want to see more content like this. And that's all I got for this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace. Yo, Tez, what's up? What's up?